Fuel Reel originally started with this idea here. And then it evolved into another idea where I made it color base instead. And this is what that sounds like. You can tell the elements are still there, mostly this and um, the lasery things. Further from that point, I uploaded this to my YouTube channel when Spicy Rhythm Drums 2 released. All right, now that we're here, let's get straight on to the bass sounds. Um, so, as I was saying in those previous projects, the main thing that stayed was like the melodic top things. Obviously in a different rhythm. Um... And then we move on to the guns, which sound like this. And then here's the other part. And then the last guns. So I guess I'll mostly go into all this stuff. Okay, so first gun is just a spicy rhythm drums gun or a bass shot I took and use spec ops, pitch it down, little vocoder some delay, tone of delay. Um, this honestly isn't doing much, but it, it's there. Some EQ, just to bring down like the harsh frequencies. Just a tiny bit. And then I layered that with, uh, Another layer that's very washed out, I would say, because of the reverb. And I believe, yeah, I cranked up the hybrid reverb a little bit on it. Um, so these two are in two separate groups, but they're both being layered together until one bus that has just some mid-side EQ, or utility. But, this bus, this top one, just has mini fat and EQ to cut the sub. Hang on. Cause I added my own separate sub. And then I added reverb to give it a slow. Because without it, it's kind of boring. I would do the same on the bottom part. And then, uh, over here, this other gun. It is this other layer with a gun from my sample pack. That one. 
just pitch down because this is in F and then the song is in D flat. So that's what it sounds like on its own. Then you add them together and it gives it a nice layer. Uh, the very last gun, I was going to do something different. But I didn't like it, so I just used the same one from the other project file that I showed. And it's got fall convolver, just a chime, impulse, and pitch map. There's this cool thing in pitch map where if you don't like how sparkly it sounds, you can change the algorithm to natural. And if you crank the purify up, you hear it doesn't have like that sparkly artifacts compared to medium. See all that? So, but I left this on medium because I didn't have purify all the way up. Uh, that's pretty much it for the guns. Now, as for the top bases, it's just Virtual Riot one-shots that are pitched down with Spec Ops. I'm not going to unfreeze this because it's probably going to mess it up. But I have a Resonator and Pitch Map on the top. Um, so this Pitch Map is barely doing anything. Yeah, it's not really doing anything. And then I just have like some saw lasers not much processing going on just a uh, disperser tonal delay a little room reverb OTT uh, this rhythm shifter is not doing anything this EQ it's fat rack and I'm turning it down at the end but yeah it changes between this one this acid hit and then it keeps going but mostly they're on down beats with like the kick in the snare uh, as for the other melodic stuff like this laser I had to freeze and flatten it because it was killing my computer but it's a virtual riot base uh, from his sample pack called Factory. When I pitched it up, uh, added Fall Convolver, Pitch Map, and I think that's about it. And then I just chopped it up with the channel automation. I don't know why I did that. I should have did it with volume, but it just, I don't know. I like the way it sounded. Or it's fine. Uh, let's see, some other fun stuff. We got this sub. That's really fat. I'll give this away in the project description, or in the YouTube description, but it's also in my sample pack on Gumroad if you want to download it there, but it's really, it's a really nice, fat, thick sub. Here's another sample from a sample pack that I made just like ages ago, put it in there. I believe it's this ending. Um, this one right here. That fill is me dropping pigments wavetables in to serum. Just like Virtual Riot showed. Let me see. I'll recreate this right now. Okay. 
let me just get all the effects on this channel. The only difference though is that I believe I reversed it and pitched it down in the sample after freezing it. So the way this works with pigments is uh you drag in the dot wt file because these aren't um like waves or anything that serum would normally accept you're not really going to get the correct results you want from dragging these in you're going to get like all this weirdness like hang on like all that really high pitch annoying stuff but what you can do is resize the wavetable to double and then you get and then you can get some interesting more interesting stuff or you can double it again get like that stuff the stuff and then what I did was I pitched it up Let's see pitch it up seven semitones so let's do that real quick figure Now, the results aren't always going to be the same when you drag it in, so it would be really hard to recreate this again. But you get a bunch of cool screechy stuff when you do this. I just got really lucky and this is the result I got. Just like on this wave table. I thought it was really cool. There's some other stuff going on actually. There's some distortion, hyperdimension, and EQ. Basically, yes, I did get the idea from we are not alone VIP when you showed that project file in studio time. I was just like, all right, that's a cool idea. I'll use that. Let's see, we have another bass fill from Rhythm Starter. And then last glitch out. So altogether, the bass is soloed sound like this. Really fat, really thick. And I believe the uh, in match isn't working. There we go. It's much louder. Uh, as we go up, let's see what do we got. We got just basic drums. I layered the snare, and I cut out the transient of the snare so they don't clash. And like the way that sounded. And then it changes to just the snare on its own. Uh, some tom fills in here.
and symbols. As for the symbols, I was really lazy and didn't feel like using MIDI for any symbols. So I just decided to use spicy rhythm drums. Normally I'll actually write in symbols, but I was just really lazy. Since channel, there is nothing but some background stuff. Uh, samples, there is ambience. They're just both being sidechained by Autopan. Uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys want to see how I did the uh, future garage area, let me know. Or anything about like the beginning of the song, this breakdown, the next breakdown of the future garage area or melodic dubstep drop, just let me know.